Assalamu alaikum all welcome back to my channel I pray that you are all in the best of health and iman if you are new welcome my name is Nafisa I am a Muslim life coach and I support Muslim women with relationship and mental health issues so if you're interested in being coached in those areas you can find me over on my website which I will leave linked in the description box down below but over here on YouTube, I make Islamic lifestyle as well as Dawah content. So if you're interested in that, then definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. So today's lifestyle video, you're going to want to chill out. You're going to want to get a cup of tea, get juice, get coffee, water, whatever you vibe with, a blanket, just get cozy. And let's have a quick look at what I carry in my handbag. Guys, if you do not watch all of this video at least ensure you watch the first five minutes of it because the things that I'm going to recommend for you to also carry in your handbag are going to be beneficial okay all right so let's start off with the bag the handbag itself is from TK Maxx and I believe that's called TJ Maxx in America and I bought this I think at the very beginning of 2019 so this is my second year now having this bag and guys this bag only cost me 40 pounds I know to be honest aside of like my real leather handbags and more expensive handbags this is one of the best handbags that I have ever had and that's, that says a lot, okay? That really says a lot. For a high street store handbag, that says a lot. And it's faux leather as well, but it's just such good quality. I have found a very similar one by the same brand. Um, it comes in different colors, so I will link it in the description box down below for any of you guys who are interested. But this particular one is navy blue, and the brand is June London. Um, with, so it's navy blue with gold hardware and has two compartments on the inside to help with organization. As you guys can see, it has a top handle, but it also has a shoulder handle that is removable that you can also carry as a cross body. So it's very helpful. So I'm going to start with this front section right here. First thing is first, this little gadget right here. Some of you guys are like, oh, that looks like some kind of a car key. It's not, it's actually an alarm system. Girls, I do not play when it comes to my safety and I recommend you guys don't either and to be honest something like this I felt was going to be so beneficial to my audience considering most of you guys are girls ladies young women older women it doesn't matter we're all women and our safety is more important now than ever before um, ideally according to the sunnah when a woman wants to leave the house she should have her mahram with her but the reality especially if you live in the West, is that that's just not what happens, okay? Our mahrams do not have time to be following us every time we want to go to school or go to college or go to uni or go to the corner shop or go shopping. They just don't follow us around like that. That's just not the reality of the situation. And the bottom line is, I don't want to scare anyone, but the bottom line is there are predators out there there are people who harm other people out there and we just want to ensure that we're doing the best that we can to keep ourselves safe by just using common sense and also any little gadgets like this that may help us so what does this do it's basically an alarm um it goes off you can pull the corner right here and it will go off and make a really loud siren and the siren sound can go on for up to 60 minutes this is meant to kind of like deter, you know, anyone that's trying to attack you, scare them away or draw other people's attention to you to, you know, alert other people that you need help because this goes off really, really loudly. It also has a part to where you can just kind of like a torch light attached to it to where you can, hopefully you guys can see that light that switches on there. So where you can draw attention to yourself if you're ever in danger but you can't speak or you can't make any loud noise so this little gadget guys is one of my 2020 best buys and i really could not wait to share it with you guys because i don't know this this might save someone else's life out there and it comes in a pack of three from amazon i will leave it linked in the description box down below and literally the minute you take it out of the box it's ready to be used you can Keep one for yourself or you can keep a couple, one in your handbag, one in your pocket, wherever you want to keep it. 
or you can give one to your sister, share it with your families, or give it to your little girl if she is just about entering into teenage years and she's going to school by herself and all of that. Another thing that I thought could be really clever to do is if you guys have um, like a detachable handbag strap, you can kind of um, attach this to that and have it the side of your bag so that it's easily accessible. For those of you, again, who have young teenage girls who are just about to start school or going to school, they can have one of these attached to their school bags and that can be, you know, something that can add to their safety. Also, it's stated on Amazon where I purchased this that this little gadget here was police approved. So that is great because some of us might end up getting into trouble for carrying certain things in the name of safety that we really should not be carrying. And so on that note, I really want to say you want to check what is okay to carry in your handbag or on your person as a, like um, a self-protection tool. Because I've heard people talking about things like pepper sprays and stuff like that. And the last I read on the UK government website is that pepper sprays are illegal here in the UK to carry. And if you carry pepper spray and you're found to be carrying that with you in your person, you can get the same charge as someone who's carrying a knife. So girls, if you be having pepper sprays and crazy stuff like that in your handbag for safety, you better put that away, at least if, here, if you are here in the UK. For those of you who live in America and elsewhere, just make sure you've read your country's uh, laws and rules according to what is okay to have in your handbag or carry in your person for safety. Awesome. This is a Dawa channel. I will always say before you leave the house, make sure that you are making the du'a that you need to make before leaving the house. I will make sure I leave that du'a in the description box down below for those of you who don't know what that du'a is because as much as we do the physical things to protect ourselves, at the end of the day, protection comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we cannot leave our spiritual protection as well. If you want to pick this up, it's linked in the description box down below and it is from Amazon. Next thing that I'm going to speak about is actually going to come from the other compartment behind the first compartment and that is my mini pocket size Quran. This Quran I normally use most during Ramadan but this year I've decided that I am going to keep it in my handbag so that whenever I'm on a long train journey or a long bus journey because I don't drive um, I can just pick this mushaf up and read it. Yes, I can read the Quran from my phone because I have apps and things like that for that. But sometimes I just want to read the physical mushaf. And if you have a target to read Quran more often and you're finding that you're not able to achieve that, honestly, having a pocket sized Quran like this might just be the thing to encourage you to read more because it means you can read it on, on the go. Um, as long as you're seated and you're in a safe environment, you can take the mushaf out and read it and it helps you achieve your goals it helps you to remember Allah more often yeah I absolutely love that I'm now carrying this little mushaf with me so it doesn't just get used in Ramadan it also gets used in my everyday life so I highly um recommend this to you again I have this in my Amazon storefront which I will leave linked in the description box down below if any of you guys would like to purchase a mini pocket size Quran the third thing, as I'm sure most of you guys would have already guessed, is a prayer mat. Girls, you need to be carrying a prayer mat with you in your handbag because you never know when you might be out and it's time to pray Salah and maybe there's a room or somewhere for you to pray, um, but you just don't have something comfortable to stand to pray in. So that is where a very thin prayer mat can come in handy. This is just the one that I happen to have. However, there are those really tiny pocket sized prayer mats that also have the compass on them. So if you get somewhere and you want to pray but you don't know where the Qibla is, the compass is actually part of the prayer mat and it's very thin. You can lay it down and it will guide you and show you where the Qibla is. The direction to face the pray, it will show you where that is. I didn't feel a need to buy a, a prayer mat with a compass on it because obviously I have the Muslim Pro app and part of that app there is a section that has a compass so you can just have it on your phone you put your phone down and it shows you the direction for the Qibla and then you just lay your mat according to the direction and you stand and pray so this is a definite must have guys you must have a prayer mat in your bag with you because you know us busy 21st century ladies nowadays you know we're not always home to pray so definitely a must have is a prayer mat next on the list is an empty water bottle i know some of you guys are like yeah nafisa we already know what this is for and the rest of you are like what's this for this empty bottle is 
for you to fill up water so that you can use it when you go to the bathroom. The non-Christians who watch my video or maybe some of you guys who are new to Islam, we Muslims must clean ourselves with water whenever we use the bathroom. Irregardless of if you're doing a number one or a number two, it doesn't matter, you must also use water. So that is what this little bottle is for. If you ever see a Muslim man or a Muslim woman walking into the bathroom holding some kind of strange water bottle, don't look at them like they're weird. Just know they're just, they're just getting their cleansing game on point according to what their religion says and that's why we, <laughs> we carry empty water bottles with us. All right. So now we're going to go into the everyday type of stuff that you will find in any woman's handbag and for me since I am a teacher I have a massive diary and you might be thinking why do you need this massive diary for well basically first and foremost I mean look at it it is so pretty okay I am a sucker for pretty diaries this one went from July 2019 all the way up to December 2020 so it's about to finish and I'm pretty sad and yeah I did pick this off from take a guess yep TK Maxx <laughs> so England is on a second lockdown. I cannot wait for us to come out of our lockdown so that I can pick myself up another really pretty diary or planner as it's called in America. So yeah, I really love this planner. This is where I write some of the targets that I have set for my students, who I'm teaching when because I am a homeschooling slash uh, online teacher as well as that I have my coaching business and as well as that I run YouTube. So I am a very very busy person and sometimes things come to mind and I just need to get them down on paper like I'm always holding my phone I'm always on social media and I'm just sick and tired of just always scrolling through my phone sometimes I just want to hold a pen and write and be old school like that so yeah this is my lovely diary that helps me to keep myself organized also with that of course we have a really nice pen and if you guys can't tell already I like functional stuff that look really pretty like I just love making things look pretty so <laughs> that is why I have that pen you can get a set of these pens from Poundland I think three for a pound or something like that so super affordable the next product is another essential for every woman to carry in her handbag I don't care how old you are, as long as you are of childbearing age, you need to be carrying this in your handbag. And that is some sanitary towels or whatever you use for the time of the month. Girls, it is essential, okay? Because sometimes, even if we're pretty sure that we are not due, you know, sometimes when your hormones play games on you and it just fluctuates in one month, you might just see your flow when you're not expecting to see your flow. Or maybe a friend of yours might be needing one and they're not carrying one. Accidents happen, situations happen. So you always want to make sure you are carrying some extra sanitary pads with you. Next is another cleansing product and it is a washlet. So a washlet is basically like a, a tissue paper, but it's been moistened. So this comes in handy a lot for me. Again, because I travel um, using public transport, sometimes if you're like having a quick snack on the bus or on the train or whatever, and you just wanna wipe your hands or whatever, this comes really handy with that, especially with the whole coronavirus situation as well. If you just wanna give your hands a wipe because you've been touching stuff and all that whilst you're out, this is really useful for that. So I carry this for that as well if you get like the pure water ones as well you can actually use that girls for the time of the month if you just want to freshen up a little bit more after having used water to clean you know her area um so yeah washlets are definitely a must have for me next is my wallet and as you guys can see i love my neutrals <laughs> i really like the pastel color of this wallet so this wallet has separate compartments for your cards and it also has um three compartments inside so for the most part i just carry the cards that i use whenever i'm shopping so in here i have costa card super drug cards library card oh hello fresh card <laughs> costco cards and morley's reward card yeah so basically these are all of my like shopping cards and places that i tend to shop at the most um and i just always like to carry the, that with me and as you guys can see like TK Maxx and HomeSense and The Body Shop are like the first two at the very front. That's because that is where I shop at the most. So yeah, every woman needs to carry a wallet with her 
for sure and again this one is from amazon and i will leave it linked in the description box down below so that is my wallet next i have this little uh collection of what i believe is very important items so let's begin the first thing i want to talk about since a lot of you seem to think i'm a clean freak <laughs> this will confirm that this is an antibacterial gel now even pre-covid i always seem to have one of these in my bag because yeah maybe some of you guys are right maybe i am a clean freak but this helps to kill germs this particular one is from um, super drugs and it is strawberry and raspberry scented even my students like this like i take this out to just quickly like desanitize my hands and they're like miss what's that can i have some can i have some literally so <laughs> this is a really nice scented um antibacterial gel okay so the next thing i'm carrying not just for like oral hygiene but also because i've kind of been traumatized since i was a kid like when you come near your students to explain something with them you see them like moving that means something's wrong with your breath and i'm not trying to be that kind of teacher so i always have something to refreshen my breath up and this is tic tac this is a lime and orange flavor it tastes so good guys i have to kind of like refrain my, myself from always opening up this little pouch here because otherwise all of these tic tacs will be gone in in two minutes <laughs> so i really like this for keeping my breath fresh and clean next is another little hat that i like to do to keep myself fresh as the lady that i am and in here this spray bottle comes in a pack of like three or four. You can pick it up from Superdrugs or from Poundland. Um, and inside is Febreze. If you guys watch my summer hacks video for um, hijabis, you would have noticed that I mentioned using Febreze a lot to kind of freshen up your clothes. And I have a little bit of Febreze in here. This just always stays here, but I don't use it as much in the winter as I do in the summertime. And this is for when I can like, smell my clothes smelling a little bit funky and i'm out you know there's there's just been those times where just you just turn around and then you sniff your hijab you're like mm, this smells a, you know doesn't smell as nice as you want it to you can just spray your clothes with a little bit of febreze especially in the summertime when you feel like you're kind of getting sweaty and it's like you've been at work all day you're coming home in the late evenings and you just feel like your clothes smell a little bit funky you can just spray this febreze on the parts of your clothes and trust me within 5 10 15 minutes it's dried and the smell is gone so the thing with me is i tend to have dry hands or maybe it's just me focusing too much on them but i hate for my hands to be looking all ashy it's just it's just not a look it's not a vibe so <laughs> i always make sure that i carry some kind of a cream with me so after making wudu i will take my cream and make sure i moisturize my hands and sometimes i'll also moisturize my face and this particular body butter from the body shop is extremely moisturizing i am yet to find another moisturizer that is as nourishing and moisturizing as this one also to say it smells absolutely delicious so that is my hand cream speaking of keeping hands moisturized my cuticles tend to be very dry i think it's because i wash up a lot because i don't have a dishwasher in my apartment so the next house that i move to if it doesn't have a dishwasher or a space for a dishwasher so I can buy myself one I'm not moving there <laughs> so to keep my cuticles um, nicely moisturized I use this Avon nail experts cuticle cream and I just apply it to my cuticles and moisturize it in just to keep my cuticles nice and moisturized then of course we've got to keep the lips moisturized because again dry lips is not a vibe it's not a thing it doesn't look good for anyone so my two top um lip moisturizers would be the carex ones and then nivea and this is just to help ensure that my lips are also moisturized since it's also skin and i do not want it flaking off especially in the winter months so a lip moisturizer then i also have spare hijab pins because you never know when you might be needing some spare hijab pins you know you lose one they always go walking don't they they just they just go missing so it's always nice to have some spares Speaking of hair, I also carry an extra like hair scrunchie or whatever if for some reason like my hair is out and I just need to put it in a bun, um, maybe change up the style or whatever. Or sometimes I actually use this with my under hijab 
to kind of like make a bun out of it and then I put this over the bun like that instead of having to like tie it but it's just nice to have a spare just in case and then for the time of the month when you feel <laughs> a lot of pain um, I always make sure to carry some kind of paracetamol I don't normally get headaches the only time I would need to take a painkiller is if it's the time of the month but as you guys saw in one of my vlogs I told you guys I was taking this like herbal medication that is actually really helping with my menstrual uh, pains so I actually for the last two months have had haven't had to take any kind of painkiller because I've been consistent with that herbal medicine and it's really helped me to not even have any menstrual cramps at all. So I am super happy about that to say the least. So that is all that belongs in this small little pouch right here. Last few items that I have in my handbag would of course be a water bottle. Yes, I am a big water drinker and I love carrying water with me it is a must because you know your girl gets thirsty and stuff and you know we need to keep looking young and beautiful and all that good stuff and healthy so <laughs> water is a must guys so last two items umbrella of course i mean i live in london how can i not carry an umbrella like 80 percent of the time it's raining okay that's an exaggeration that's not true but most of the time it's raining so i have to have an umbrella especially because my like autumn coats that i now wear don't have hoods so you have to have an umbrella so i got this umbrella again from amazon you press the button right there and it opens up and when you want to bring it down you can press the button and it closes the umbrella and brings it down so it's pretty cool picked it up from amazon i'll leave it linked in the description box down below the last item i keep on the zipped envelope part of the edge of the bag is a little shopping bag if some of you have been wondering why lately we've been having to pay 5p for those of us in the uk for a ham for a bag a plastic bag is because the world at large is trying to reduce the amount of plastic that we use because it's actually really bad for in the for the environment so this bag I actually got gifted it when I bought some of my skincare products from Skin City so I've just decided to use it as my little shopping bag these kind of bags um, are reusable so they are a great idea so if you can find yourself a reusable bag that you can just permanently always have in your handbag it will save you all the five P's that you've been wasting on plastic bags because you and I know that we don't reuse those plastic bags and they just sit and collect in our homes and that is the opposite of everything that stores are trying to do right now so just get yourself a reusable bag one that is small and foldable enough that you can permanently keep in your handbag so you always have something to use in case of a quick um, emergency shopping that you may need to do so guys that concludes everything that i carry in my handbag if you're wondering where like other basic stuff is like what about my phone and my headphone i don't put that in my bag because to me that's an inconvenience so i tend to keep those in like my pockets and other things that other women may carry that I don't carry is perfume like I said because I don't wear perfumes outside of the house the other thing is like a makeup kit or a makeup bag 90% of the time I do not wear any kind of makeup not even an eyeliner like and that is because I'm not a makeup wearer like that so I don't carry any makeup with me cream and lip gloss is as far as makeup goes for me for everyday use so that's why I don't have any of that in my bag so yeah guys that is everything in my bag. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Like I said before, if there is anything that you've seen in today's video that you're wanting to purchase for yourself, I would do my best to leave links to everything in the description box down below. If I can't find the exact you know, replica of what I have, I will link something similar, but everything is in the description box down below. So with all that said, I hope you guys have really enjoyed today's video as much as I have. If you have, definitely make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any other recommendation for like lifestyle videos that you want to see me do kind of from like a Muslim woman's perspective, then let me know. Definitely open to that. And inshallah ta'ala, I will see you guys in my next video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.